Hi there. So I'm going to do this kind of like beginner style with yoga from home. Now it's particularly cold this morning. I think whenever it rains, I feel like it's cold, even though it's probably not. I looked at the temperature gauge before and embarrassingly enough, I saw it was 22 degrees, not minus 10. <laughs> it kind of puts me back in perspective. However, in saying that, I've got the heater on, I've got a long sleeve top and I've got a jumper on and I've got long jeans. And I just took off my socks. Okay, so starting off, the first thing that we want to do in yoga is find the inner core of ourselves to find a place in space, in peace. The second thing is that we definitely need something underneath us, like a yoga mat, some pillows, bricks, things like that are welcome to use as props around us. The first idea in yoga is to loosen ourselves up and find our core. Okay, today we're going to do a series of floor exercises because I think that that will probably help us out a little bit more in perspective to the camera. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have to stop and start all the time. So let's just nut out this period together and go from beginners. All right, so firstly, find yourself a comfortable position. Now, not everyone's going to be comfortable in the position I'm in. Some people are going to be comfortable like that and the other foot up. The other way that we can sit if you feel more comfortable is like that where you've got one foot in around your groin area and then you've got the other foot locked in around by your derriere the third position that might work for you is to sit like that okay so you're sitting on your feet here and you've just got your knees in front of you your mat is out that way okay and stay present, whatever way works for you. I'll probably go back to sitting in cross-legged in a minute. First thing I'm going to do <laughs> is ask for you to sit nice and tall and proud. So try and be aware of your spine. Close your eyes for a minute if you like. Just be able to hear my voice. I'm going to invite you to just visualize aesthetically in your head if possible or just by sensation alone just to find out where your spine is and to feel it kind of recorrecting itself into a fairly straight position. Be aware of your derriere and your feet or on the floor or on a pillow if that is more comfortable for you. Um, just to be aware of where your spine is like to feel whether it's all crooked or whether it's actually sitting up fairly straight. And then in alignment with the back of your neck and noticing any pains that are around your back. You may feel tired or sore from the night before. You might feel like it is just compressed or it's stretched. It's not sitting right. Your shoulders might feel heavy. Just observe it at this point. You don't need to do a single thing about it. It's apart from just notice. Give your body time and space to be aware of that pain that you're carrying physically, because a lot of times we kind of push it aside and we start our day without being consciously aware. If we're consciously aware, we can hold ourselves differently and we can fix up the problem rather than dealing with the symptoms and popping pills. So I'm going to sit back, cross-legged position, because that's more comfortable for me, or even like that. So. Sitting in whichever way you choose, I just want you to drop your hands by your side, close your eyes and take some deep breaths. When we're taking in deep breaths, I invite you to take in those deep breaths through our nose, lifting our heads if you like, moving our throat nice and long, breathing in through our nose. On a count of two, holding and then breathing out on a count of three through our mouth. Breathing in again through our nose, holding, and then breathing out through our mouth. Oh, it doesn't matter if you make a bit of sound, who cares, it's sound. Breathing in through your nose, see if you can stretch it to a count of three, hold, and then breathing out through your mouth with one extra count of four. Ooh. And when you're breathing, just while you're doing yoga practice with me, I invite you to just keep that mechanism going where you're breathing in through your nose and you're breathing out through your mouth. 
and being consciously aware of when you're breathing in, how far it actually reaches down. Does it actually just go to somewhere in your throat? Does it go to your chest, to your clavicles, to your chest, to your diaphragm? Do you feel it circulate throughout your whole body? Being aware of our presence around our, our own energy field around our body. You can come back to that. Now this is a standard procedure I start and finish my yoga practices with. I invite you to find some place of some contentment in this as well. Lifting up our arms around us, stretching our arms back, lifting them up to the sky. Bring them down over our heart. This prayer position can be for a meditation or a prayer in itself. I invite you to find some sort of mantra, some manifestation that you wish to focus on today. I invite you to find something that supports your body and your mind, your vision for the day. A positive message. Some examples might be to look for hope, to make up your mind, to see everything that is supporting you during this day. That's going to be mine for today. I invite you to use that one or to find your own. Namaste. Let's begin. So firstly, dropping your hands by the side, you just roll your shoulders back. I'm just going to stretch them out a little, just loosen up your shoulders and do one by one. Just moving them backwards. And then we'll do you with them. We're just loosening up those shoulders, the poor crunched up shoulders, and they might get crunched up very easily. Moving them forward. Okay, you just want to roll them. You need a whole arm if you need to. Okay, it's just you and I in the room. It doesn't matter. It's no biggie. And then roll them back. Kind of starting our own rhythm with it. <laughs> okay. You can drop your shoulders for a while. Drop your chin down to your chest and just noticing where it's at. Like feeling the back of your neck, like how stretched out does it feel, does it hurt, does it feel tight, does it only go so far or does it go all the way down. Rolling your head around, just gently on every single step of the way, you might be like me and feel like a part of your neck quickly click, click or crunch or grind or whatever, if so be exceptionally gentle. I'm not reinventing the wheel with the way your head works. We are supporting it and giving it love. We're also encouraging blood flow circulation to happen there to make it easier for movement. So you don't want sudden jarring or kicking. You're just loosening up your neck. Okay. And then bring it back again. And to the side and back. You can drop it forward. Bring your head back. To the side. To the other side. It's nice and easy. Dropping your chin back on your chest. And rolling it again, but rolling it the other way, anti-clockwise, if you like. Nice and easy. Okay. And then up to center position. Oh, I'm feeling slightly more like... <laughs> okay, then the next thing is our fingers and our toes and our arms. So we'll go with our fingers, bring them to the front. And then we're interlacing them, right? We're pushing them forward. And then we're extending our palm sides out, stretching it. And then we're going to bring it up. 
as high as we can, unless we've got an invisible string, lifting up our fingers. You should feel it in your upper arms so much. You're actually pushing and pulling it on the other side of those hands, and then you're moving it the other way, stretching it out. Moving it a little bit to the side and one side, a little bit to the side and the other side. Stretching yourself out and then moving yourself forward and down. Okay. Bringing yourself up to centre. The next thing I want you to do is to utilise one leg. So you've got your foot coming up around your groin area and your other leg goes over that leg. Okay. I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see a little bit more of what's going on. So you've got your foot there, tucked in around your derriere. You've got your other leg on like a right angle. So you can see it's sort of sitting there like that. Okay. Now if this is a difficult um, position for you to maintain, Please feel free to put a pillow underneath your derriere. You can put your foot, if that helps. Um, the other things that you could do is put it like under both sides of your cheek. You could also put a pillow under there, okay? Or you could put a pillow in between your chest and your arm. But the idea is then that we're going to put our arms to the side, bring them up to the air. I've got limited space here. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring that one elbow over the side of this. So that is the same but on this side. And the other arm is coming up behind us and we're turning right around in our body. So you'll feel like your spine is a little bit stretched. And every time you do this, you'll find it loosens up just that little bit more. So we're just unknotting our body. That's all that we're doing during this yoga. Okay, so we're bringing ourselves back, putting our head back around our shoulders. So even me who hasn't done this for a while, I'm back at beginner's level, <laughs> because I've got to do it all over again. So we are literally doing this together, guys. So, okay, and then we can bring our back arm back over again. Bring ourselves back at the center position again. And now we are swapping sides, and so we're dropping that one down, bringing that one over. Okay. Your arms to the side. And we're done that position. And then we can bring our arm up and over. Remember, it's like that from the other side. Pulling our head over along our shoulder. And we're just feeling that nice stretch. Uh, it would be interesting for you just to observe within yourself which side is easier for you as well, which one you feel like you've got a little bit more stretch on. And also, what part of your spine are you feeling it in? Is it feeling stiff or is it painful? at certain parts. Now if it's feeling painful, don't jar it so hard. Let yourself come back a little bit. That's okay. You can always build up to it. But if you actually damage your body, you're bringing yourself back to sub-zero. Okay. So let's just do it in a way that is nurturing and kind to your body. Now, the next step, you could have it so that your feet are facing each other and you could have a pillow under each leg if you like, or you could have a pillow on top and push yourself down. You could put your feet on it like that. You could put your feet cross-legged, whatever way you like. Okay, the idea is then to lift up your arms, to move yourself forward. Walk your hands back and back onto it. Okay, then outstretch your one leg. Remember to use your pillows as props, whatever way you need them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to flex, flex our little toes. We're going to bring them back. 
push them back and then move them forward. So like a ballet foot. Okay. So move them forward. Pull your toes down. Notice your spine where it's at. Okay. And then flex them back up towards you. Now, if you've got a belt or something, you can utilize it around there and pull it. Or you could touch your toes as well. Okay, bring yourself back. And then we are swapping positions. Getting a bit of blood flow there. Okay. And then we are pushing our foot down, the toes down. So we've got ballet position and flexing them up. And you should feel that around here in the back of your calves. Flexing them up, pushing them down like a ballerina again. And then when you flex them up this time, I want you to reach for them or to use a belt around it. You know, something just to hold on to. And then just touching your toes. And just hold it there for a couple of minutes or seconds. The next step that I want us to do, because we're working with our legs and our arms. Okay, I'm going to turn around so you've got a different perspective. Okay, now you're using one arm like that, bring it over and then you round it up with the other hand. Now what you could do on this is you could, if you find it easier, you could drop your head down to the side, which I don't think you can see with this in my hair, but you can drop it over on the opposite end. The idea is to open up your upper arm as much as you can. If this is too hard for you to reach it, use that belt again and just to connect it. Hold one end of the belt there and the other end of the belt there. Dropping your arms down after a few minutes, seconds. And I want you to try the other side. You'll find that one has a little bit more give than the other. Dropping your head the opposite side. Remember an opening of your arms. Hold on that there for a moment. And then dropping this. I must feel up. I must seem to be like a spinning wheel. <laughs> we keep going around. Okay, now we can go like that. Keeping our spine straight, just opening up our shoulders a bit. The next step from here, putting our hands laced behind our heads, just gonna turn it around, side to side. I'm particularly stiff because my back has been sore at night. I'm sleeping on a bad mattress on my back. So my whole body feels very pretzel at the moment. <laughs> so I'm a perfect example to be showing this right now because I am so with you on this. Okay, there's a couple of tools I'm going to be bringing with over the next few days, but this is just a starting point. Now, I'm going to show you something that is your best friend when you wake up in the morning, particularly if you have back issues, and I keep forgetting about it at the moment. So I'm going to show you so that you can join with me, and it's this pose. Okay, there's a couple. You will probably identify it, or you recognize them from yoga if you've done them, but we'll just do this one today. Okay, so this is child's pose. The so one is that you've got your knees together like that and you're dropping your bum onto your legs, stretching out your arms, you're putting them in front of you and you're just letting yourself go. Obviously I need to learn how to be a bit more savvy with this camera. <laughs> but we'll start with this. The other idea is that you could have your arms behind you, alongside your feet, which you can't see. <laughs> Not on the for you. Like that. Now, the other idea is you could put pillows underneath there, which is in a way even better first thing in the morning. And the reason why is because the rest of your body is moved on a slant like that, yeah? And when it's moved on a slant like that, you're actually increasing, increasing, sorry, 
the blood flow and the fluids just to run down your spine so that you're getting lots of fluid activity up around your shoulders all the way through your spinal. So if you've got any issues to do with your back or your discs or anything like that, it allows complete um, circulation and flow to be able to get everything moving nice and beautifully again. Okay, now I'm probably going to leave it at this for this morning, just as a morning stretch, and that's that, and that warms you up to much, much more, but that's a very good start. Just basically to open up your little body a bit and give it a bit of prep for the day. So thank you very much for your time, for including me in your morning or your evening, and I will see you soon again. Thank you.